I'm just going to run through three different lures, which are caught three of my better bartail flathead on this year. Bartail flathead aren't as big as the models that you get over in the East Coast, but still managed to get it quite a few decent ones. First flathead is caught on a Z-Man Slim Swim. I've got it rigged weedless. I'll quickly run through how to rig that. I like to rig my soft plastics from hook facing down and coming through the top of the soft plastic. You don't need to go through a big chunk of it, just a little bit and enough to hold it on there. Then push it right up to the end and measure it up. Once you've got it lined up, push straight through. You might need to do this a few times. You will want to make sure there's no bows and that the hook is coming out pretty much in the middle of the plastic. Might take a few times. You can also nip in the barb to the soft plastic, but I like to leave a little bit exposed. I often use the soft plastics on the flats anyway, but when I would use it over a hard body is when there's a lot of weed or when I'm fishing a drop off. So where I'm standing at the moment, I'm in probably just over ankle deep water and the drop off is about a metre. This uh, big flatty hit it just on the drop off. The downside of using plastics is all the uh, blowies in the Swan River. You can go through quite a few. If you, there's heaps of blowies around, don't use S Factor or other scents. This flathead was caught on the running tide with the water level quite low so I had to wade pretty far out to hit the drop off. The double clutch is probably one of the most popular flathead lures. It's a bit pricey but it's really effective. I really like ripping it across a flat. So I usually do two or three winds, give it two rips sideways, pause, two or three winds, two rips sideways, pause. This flathead was caught on light line. It's just four pound line and leader. So it's just taking my time to pull it in and just keeping pressure on it the whole time. The benefit of using the hard body over a plastic is that a lot of times it's uh, looked up on the back treble so it won't wear through the line as much. Having said that, sometimes they just engulf the whole thing. Generally when I'm fishing for the flathead, I would probably have between eight and 12 pound uh, leader. I'd usually have about a rod and a half length. My reel is usually two to 3,000. I've got four pound line on one, and I think my 3,000's got about 10 pound on it. Um, four pound's fine as long as there's not a lot of structure around. I generally just use my one to three kilo rod. Sometimes use a two to four. Uh, the next flathead is actually caught on a three to six, which is fine as well, really. This is great just to throw off the back of your kayak and troll it around in between uh, moving to different areas. It also casts really well for the lightweight. This one's in a trout color because I use it for trout fishing too. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much with the flathead. 